you may be feeling just to know that God reigns. Oh, uh, you may be sitting there, man. Jeremiah chapter 8. Starting at verse number 19. Everybody have it, say amen. If you're still looking, say wait. I want us all on her page just flipping. I want us all to be on the same page. Chapter 8, starting at verse number 19. Everybody have it, say amen. amen. And it reads, Behold the voice of the cry of the God of my people because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the dog of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment had taken hold on me. Is there no harm in giving? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? God, we thank you for your word, the readers of your word, the hearers, most of all the doers. God, we thank you for this very moment. God, thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for your glory. God, I just pray right now, God, that you pour into me as I pour into your people, God, a seasoned word, a word of restoration, God, a word of revival. A word that will give us strength, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray, God, that your spirit would reach out and touch every individual here, God. Meet them at the point of need. Lord, see your word, God. See your word right now. Hear my prayer. Accept my petition that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, that it be acceptable in thy sight, for you my strength and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Listen, listen. Maybe folks may have heard this before, but Listen. I read a story one time about a newspaper editor uh, had received a letter no in the newspaper from a guy that had talked about church, and he said he don't understand the purpose of going to church all the time. The people are going to church all the time, and I don't understand. He said, in my lifetime, I've heard thousands of sermons, but for the life of me, I cannot remember one of them. And after somebody had read the article in the newspaper, they answered his article. And it was talking about to the guy who was talking about church. And he said that I've been married to my wife for well over 30 years. Out of those 30 years, she's cooked many meals. Come on, come on. And for the life of me, I cannot remember one recipe. But all I know is that it did me some good. I don't know about nobody else, but I've been going to church for quite a while, and I may not remember every sermon, come on, come on, come may not remember every message, on, may not remember every lesson that was taught, on, but no matter all those things that I can't remember, I know that it did me some good. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, nobody hear me. Somebody said to me not too long ago the other day, y'all don't mind if I take my time, somebody time, said to me the other time. day. When they were, we, see, we were watching a lot of times on TV a lot of things going on with the churches. We're looking at the Catholic churches. We look at all the perversion and all these different churches. We're looking at the holiness churches, the Baptist churches, Church of God in Christ. How a lot of these pastors are being accused of all these different types of things. And so this guy came to me and he said, Man, what's the matter with the church? So every time you turn on the news, they're talking about another pastor that did this. Another pastor that got locked up. What's the matter with the church? <laughs> kind of made me mad. Come out, come out. Come out. Because that's the, the perception that we have many times when we see when somebody falls. Come out, come out. We look at the church uh -huh. as a whole. Come out, come out. It's not the person, but they say it's the church. It's not that ministry, but it's the whole body of Christ. All right. Even sometimes when we talk, we say the church as a whole has lost or the church as a whole has fallen. Thank you, Jesus. But I heard a 
word from God. I don't know. I heard a word from God, and God told me that the bomb is still in Gilead. Yes, yes, yes. And it may look like every now and then, it may look like the church has lost itself. It may look like there's no praise in the church. It may look like nobody wants to worship, but the bomb is still in Gilead. And for those who may not really understand, bomb was an ornament that they made, and it was a healing ornament. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It was used for the healing of certain sicknesses and diseases and wounds that people had. In the Old Testament, and even through the New Testament, they used balm. But what they called it, they called it the balm of Gilead. And the reason why they called it the balm of Gilead, because Gilead was the manufacturer and distributor of the bomb. And if you follow me, we can get that together. But Gilead was the manufacturer, in other words, the manufacturer is the one that creates, that makes it. And so there was a, a flower, there was a certain flower, a tree that they pulled gum from, that they made the ointment that would heal certain sicknesses that other ointments and other types of medicine could not heal. And what was so special about it is that there was only one place that you could get it. All right, If you wanted to get the bomb, you had to go to get it. If you really wanted to be healed, you had to get the bomb from Gideon. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm looking at the church as being Gideon. And anybody who's hurting and who needs a move or who needs a breakthrough and they need the bomb and they can't find it anywhere else, the only place you're going to find it is that you have to go to Gideon. Anybody? 
anybody know anything about sin? Amen, amen. We got infected with this disease called sin, and this is something that the devil puts in our mind that it is an incurable disease. We've heard people say that once a sinner, always a sinner. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Once a liar, always a liar. Once a dopamine, always a dopamine. There's no remedy. They have diseases in this world today called AIDS that they say there's no remedy. They have cancer that they really don't have a remedy for it. They have all different types of diseases that they can't even name and they don't have a remedy for it. The world does not have a remedy for the diseases of the church. Come on, come on. Right. People in the world are dying from different things and different diseases. People in the church, they get hurt and they get wounded and it gets infected. And after a while, things begin to decay. Everybody know anything about that? Your praise begins to decay. Your worship begins to decay. Oh, you can't lift your hands anymore. You don't have any more charge. Your peace leaves you. And it looks like everybody has it. It seems like everybody can tell you, go to Dr. Swartz or go to this hospital. Go and pick up this prescription. But if you only can make your way back to Gideon, because the bomb is still in Gideon. It, it hasn't left. And so we're looking at people. We're looking at the church now. We're looking at a lot of things and we the church is sick, the church has lost this, the church is lost, there's nothing wrong with the church, the bomb is stealing, now there may be something wrong with you, but there's nothing wrong with the church, there may be something wrong with that ministry, but there's nothing wrong with the church, because the bomb is still, there's still healing and giving, there's still some joy and giving, there's still peace and giving, there's nothing wrong with the church, there's deliverance in the church, there's salvation in the church, Nothing, the bomb is still in it has a left. And the reason why a lot of people don't have it because they left Gideon, that was wrong. A lot of people have left Gideon. It's not that the bomb is not there, but a lot of people have left Gideon. And so Jeremiah is talking to this black backslidden nation. Talking to this nation that is backslidden and turning their back on God. Turning away from God. And so that now that they, they are being overtaken by the enemy, they're being overtaken by sicknesses and diseases. God and talk to God about the situation, but God begins to talk to them back. And so what God says is God looks at them and he said, is that God in Zion? He said, is that no physician that he asked them? He said, is that no bomb in Gideon? For anybody to really understand what he said. God is not asking a question in order for you to give him the answer. The question he asked is quite sarcastic. Because what God is saying is that there is bomb in Gilead, so why are you acting like it's not there? All right, all right, all right. There's still healing in Gilead, but why are you acting like it's not there? See, we turn to so many different things and too many different ways and trying to get back to what we're supposed to be. But if we can only get back to Gilead, well, the bomb is an overabundance. Yes, yes. Come on, minister. The bomb. A lot of folks, they don't want to. See, folks, they, they're looking for healing and all these different types of things. Uh -huh. But the bomb is still in Gideon. A lot of people are looking at the church and they're looking at a lot of these people who, who have fallen from the grace of God. They're looking at a lot of these people who are not as enthusiastic as they started out to be. They're looking at a lot of these people that really didn't have a praise of in the enemy in the first place. They're looking at a lot of these folks that really didn't have a worship. The church don't do the things that they used to do. The church don't minister the way. 
of all the trials and we can lose focus on all the shortcomings of everybody that is falling. Should they fall and should they fall from the grace of God? Or should they, they may have hurt some of the people that were in the church, but that doesn't say anything about the body of Christ because if they can only get back to Gideon and find out that the bomb still runs in Gideon. Or Gideon is a manufacturer and distributor of the bomb. If anybody ever really wants some true healing, why don't you get the bomb from Gideon? Oh, 